show is brought to you by the Black Business School, the number one black wealth institution on earth. To learn how to invest in the stock market for free, please visit firstshareofstock.com. That's firstshareofstock.com. And that link is at the top line of the description box. You got my personal recommendation on that. Firstshareofstock.com. Man, Houston living legend Jay Prince is taking backlash for his statement that he made in support of of joe rogan now if you haven't been watching you know joe rogan you know had a guest on his show and he was asking the guest on his show about how come he doesn't say the n-word anymore now after that in dre and other people you know um a resurfaced clip came out of joe rogan using the n-word at least you know four or five times so that led people to believe that you know that he had a problem with, in particularly black people, and he didn't ha have a problem really hurl hurling off the word, as we heard in previous clips. Now, I guess context does mean something at the end of the day, and I get that, but I want to deal with what Jay Prince said, right? I want to deal with this, right? So, Jay Prince writes on his Instagram earlier. He defends Joe Rogan and says, Joe Rogan is not a racist. I know this, brother. It takes a sincere individual to admit when they are wrong and when they effed up a situation. As you can hear, he's done that, and I forgive him because I never want to become one of those people that are filled with unforgiveness and hate that we complain about all the time. Let this be an example to others of the sensitivity of the word, N-word, right, being said by anybody other than a N-word, LOL. Now, a lot of people, you know, um, obviously are saying a lot of things. Here's the stance I want to make. With this whole situation. I just think it's kind of ironic. That. I didn't see. any Anybody like when. Um, Whoopi Goldberg said what she said. When. Uh, Deshaun Jackson. Nick Cannon. I didn't see. Nobody. From the. I didn't see a particular. Let's say. Example. Jewish person. I didn't see anyone from their community, whether it be um, online community, you know, uh, actors, celebrities, whatever. I didn't hear them jump up and say, oh, the, the Sean Jackson's my homie. You know what? Nick Cannon's my homie. I ain't see that at the end of the day. I think they kind of just let things be where they be, right? Now, how do you determine if someone's a racist I would think it will be not only by the words that they say, but possibly who they choose to associate with. And about one thing about things that happen in the subconscious, right? Things that are going on in the subconscious, they find a way to play out in the conscious, in the real world, whatever it may be. That's that's the part about the brain. See, the brain, the brain is such a, a beautiful invention. That even if you're not thinking something consciously, subconsciously you are, subconsciously you're acting things out. You're acting things out and you're continuing to, you know, uh, uh, do things as a result of the subconscious, what's been programmed in you, what you believe, what you feel, what you think. So I don't have a problem with Jay Prince standing up and saying that if that's his friend. But I think some things are better left unsaid. I say that all the time. I think some things are better left unsaid. I think that if, you know, we don't have an anti-defamation league, I think the NAACP is a sort of, you know, a lot of people got their criticisms, BLM. We don't have nothing in place like the anti-defamation league to say, all right, you know what? When someone says, it is not about someone saying that someone's canceled, right? When you look at Nick Cannon, when you look at Deshaun Jackson, you see that they had something to take away from them people. They had power. That's what's missing here. Like, we can sit up here and talk all day about, all oh, this and that, but the power, there's no power in that. Nobody can't do nothing to Joe Rogan. Not saying what he did is right at all, but I'm saying that what makes us different from other people is they exercise power when you disrespect them. When you say something that they consider to be wrong, they exercise power. I'm taking this from you. My people ain't dealing with you no more. We jump to the defense. We 
jump to the defense. So I, I'm just I just wanted to show you guys that dichotomy right here when you're talking about and I, I mean Jay Prince is a great guy. I'm not you know there's no shout out Jay and no nothing like that. Interviewed him, great guy. It's a lot that we can learn, you know, from Jay, uh, from Joe Rogan, from this whole situation. It's like some things just let it be. He might be a man's and all that, but he may have some preconceived notions about people. Now, you know, the words and the labels, you could put them on the table. You could take them off the table at the end of the day. But all I know, and I'll say this again, if, you know, we, if one of us or anybody were to call any other what they classify as race, a derogatory name, right, regardless of whatever, it will be a power move behind that. Like, all right, we taking this. You're going to lose some money. Not only are you going to lose money, we're going to take it. You're going to have to donate to this. You're going to have to apologize. You're going to have to do this. A, B, C, and D. With us, it's just, okay, you know, you know, no, 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 no. we don't have no power. That's the issue behind it. So it just seems like everything falls on deaf ears. Now, people would say, you know, if Joe Rogan, it's been time, you know, if he were to offend, let's just say, you know, whatever community, ABC community, the DSA, the pink community, the yellow community, right? If he were to offend that, they will say, all right, we're withdrawing our support. All right, we're not going to, you know, oh, you got sponsors that pay for, oh, we know what, we're coming at the sponsors. Because that's what happens when somebody gets in trouble, right? Sponsors start pulling back because of the negative connotation, because of the negative connotation that goes with that particular person. They're like, I don't want nothing to do with you if you feel that way. That's all that I'm saying. So just look. I'm just saying, you know, without taking either sides because I have, you know, I don't know Joe Rogan, right? But just stepping outside the box, like I always do, thinking outside the box, just look at the different reaction. Look at the different reaction when things go on, right? Just look at how things, how the tables turn. Just look at how things go. I'm going to leave it there. Hope that somebody understand my message today. Shout out to Jay Prince. You know, if that's your friend and you want to defend them, cool. I'm cool with that. But I'm just saying, like, just take ourselves outside the situation and take away the names of the people and just look and say, okay, remember what happened here and what happened? Remember what happened here and what happened? Remember what happened here and what happened? And then you could probably understand what I'm saying. But if you agree in the comment section, please let me know. If you disagree, that's fine, too. All, com uh, you know, comments are good. Just make sure it's clean. And be respectful. And if you're doing all that cussing, you know, YouTube is not going to show it anyway. So I would suggest just keep it clean. And I'll be definitely checking out you guys' comments tonight. Make sure you guys go to firstsharestock.com to get free stock training. That's firstshareofstocks.com. That link is at the top line of the description box. You guys have a beautiful night. I appreciate y'all. Peace.